Hey there everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Airbrush Your Games and Art. How you doing today? Well, World of Warships, the Russians and the Germans dropped. Here we have the uh, Russian Tier 1, the Orion. I call it the Let's Orion, I think it's time. Orion or something like that, but literally I think it's Orion or Orlin, one of the two. I call it the Orlin like uh, Baron Von games. <laughs> So this is a tier one. Um, the tier one German is not worth a video. It is a real piece of crap. I'm shooting at one right there. It's basically a yacht with two really poor gun turrets on it. And they sink really easily and really quickly. This Russian tier one though, on the other hand, is absolutely, it's amazing to me for a tier one. Um, if I was in a tier 3, I'd be scared of this thing. Its rate of fire and its accuracy is really good. Um, I'll come back to accuracy in a second because there's some weird stuff that I've noticed. And I'll need to be shooting at something for you to see it. But uh, the, the gun's got a fairly good uh, traverse rate so you can get around to it. It's very quick at 24 knots for a tier 1. So you can get around the battlefield. Here's another uh, tier 1 German that's about to die. I've already got one HE uh, round of um, Citadel hit, and there's the second. So two ships fired on and two uh, Citadel hits, so good. And yes, I do forget that uh, this guy's dead, so yeah, there's a wasted shot. Now I realize it and we swing back to this guy here. Um, again, those are the tier one German guys and I, I feel bad for them. The rate of fire of this thing is just, it's brutal at this tier. Um, honestly, I think it's going to be worth it for uh, anyone who's new to the game or even if you've already been playing to stay in this for a little bit because you can really milk out some extra XP and coin so as you move up you got a little bit of buffer so here's what I noticed uh, about the aiming you'll see it here um, those fell short even though I was aiming high and then those hit I set a fire and then I, I fire again I think these hit yeah but the one the first round, uh, first volley I fired were all, they were under, or the, they were over the ship even though I was aiming low, and then when I was aiming high, it went low. It was really weird. They, they've done something to how the shells interact with the ships, and, and um, I don't know if it's just a Russian thing for right now, maybe the way the Russian guns fire. But if you notice it, you know, say something in the comments down below about it because it seems like they've played with the trajectory of the rounds. And uh, so I, I think it might be tied to if the ship is coming towards you or away or maybe the game kind of evened it out before where now you really have to compensate. And uh, I citadeled him for a third citadel of this game with HE rounds and sunk him, which I really needed to do, boy, because he was he was getting one good on me. So now we're all turning in, and uh, they're calling for the push, and I agree. And I look at my ship, I see this guy here, and then uh, I look down. I'm like, I don't look that good. <laughs> so I let him know that I'm not in the best shape at the moment. But we're gonna go ahead and move in. Now see the thing about these Russians, even at tier one, they're they're gunboats and they have good range. And I forgot to write the stats down, um, but you can figure that out in the game. It's well worth it. And that right there is a Dresden. That is a tier two German ship. And uh, it is, see that I was aiming low and the rounds went over. And so, yeah, I think uh, the fact that he's weaving in and out is causing uh, havoc on my hips. Uh, the Dresden Tier 2 German, that thing is scary. It's like this, except it fires, it has a lot more guns. Um, I thought it might be like the, the equal to the Chester, 
but it's actually more of the equal to the St. Louis at Tier 2 of all. Ooh, it's, it's a scary, scary ship. And that'll be my next video, is the Dresden. We're going to go ahead and finish this one up. And uh, as I'm coming around, I'm just... I'm thinking of how I'm going to play this because I got... All I shouldn't be the assistance. point. And there's a destroyer above me, and he is um, capping right now. And then there's another sh uh, friendly that's between him and I. Right there you see him, that's the uh, Dresden. Uh, friendly Dresden, there's an enemy Dresden, I really didn't need to see that guy. He fires and misses. Uh, but my aim is pretty good, I'm, I've been warmed up. So I start just laying into this guy. Uh, I do not get the kills in though. I do get some good shots in, but uh, he gets taken out. There we go, it was the next volley after mine. So, what do I think of the new Russians? Uh, if this Orlin is uh, indicative of the rest of them, the Russians are going to be absolutely brutal to play against. Absolutely brutal. Um, I haven't looked at any of the rest of them yet, so I don't know if we got torpedoes coming or anything like that. But they are gunboats from tier one on and uh, it's going to be very very scary to play against them and really the only way i think at the moment until maybe some balancing happens that they might have to do coming up um is to play russians against the russians so get them in your lineup because you'll need them so there's the tier one german he's about to die this was a good fun fight. Looks like a couple more volleys and this guy's going to be out of here. He just took out our destroyer. Yeah, yeah, we've torn him up pretty good. And this is what these fights have looked like. And there you go. Dresden's up next, folks. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.